Hi there, I'm Alan McDonald from the British Geological Survey. Uh, so my story today is to tell you a little bit about climate change and groundwater. What I find in, in my role as a groundwater expert is a lot of people are asking me what's going to happen to groundwater in the future under different climate scenarios. People are worried whether hand pumps will dry out, whether uh, big town supplies will stop working, whether there will be more flooding or whatever. So a lot of people want answers to questions, what will happen to groundwater? So I've just finished a, a project where we've tried to look at that for, for Africa, trying to get below the headlines to try and understand a little bit what will happen to hand pumps in particular under future climates. So it's quite difficult to try and work that out because a lot of the climate models aren't very good. We don't know what's going to happen in the future for a lot of Africa. Is it going to get wetter or not? It's pretty uncertain. So a good way of looking at it, we found, was to try and work out more about the resilience of a system to any change in climate. So rather than trying to model future climates, just try and work out how resilient your groundwater is uh, to climate at the moment. And uh, we've been doing quite a bit of work in Mali and Nigeria, Uganda and Tanzania, just looking at hand pumps in different types of uh, rainfall areas. And the surprising thing that we've been finding, finding is that actually groundwater for hand pumps is actually quite resilient to a change in climate. So even when it gets dry for a number of years, groundwater can still be there. What you do find is that other sources might dry up, so ponds or springs might dry up, so you get more and more people using these boreholes, which might make them break down more often. But this, uh, this is a problem of, I suppose, maintenance and problem of uh, functionality, not of the actual water resource itself drying up. So I've got an awful lot more work to do to try and understand what will happen, but at the moment it's quite encouraging to think that groundwater uh, might be quite resilient uh, for, uh, to climate change for hand pumps. However, then, there is a big however here, if, uh, if the, the abstraction changes and people start using groundwater for, uh, for irrigation, when you pump out huge more quantities of water, then we might have problems of sustainability of the resource. So, I suppose that's my story really, is trying to unpack what uh, climate change might mean for groundwater. And the story is encouraging in some ways for hand pumps. I don't think there's going to be mass extinction of, of hand pumps across Africa. But also a warning, if we're going to extract a lot more groundwater for irrigation or for town supplies, then there might be problems in the future.